Manipur has seen a significant development this week. One of the largest rally-based insurgent groups have entered into a peace agreement and that is significant because it means one of the major insurgency groups, even though it has different factions and not all factions are perhaps on board, but this is a major insurgency group and if it enters into a peace agreement, it means that in the midst of the ethnic strife between two ethnic communities in Manipur, there is some sort of movement towards peace. Now, this group is one of the oldest, one of the largest, of course, like I said, with various factions. But it is an important development because, remember, bringing peace to the Northeast has been one of the challenges that successive governments in India have faced. And with these peace agreements, Northeast moves towards peaceful regimes and peaceful uh, existence and that's something that is a challenge not only for this government but previous governments as well but having said that because this peace agreement comes at a time when the state has been torn apart by ethnic strife it is a significant moment in the state's history now what does this mean well this means there are a couple of things that take place one if you have such a large group that enters a peace agreement and there were those dramatic visuals of several of those cadres laying down arms then it means that there is an inclination amongst at least these insurgent groups to talk to enter into a peace agreement and if that inclination is there then the government can explore ways to bring them back into the mainstream and more importantly deliver peace to the region the other part of this and the more uh, sort of you know uh, a nuanced way of looking at it is the fact that India's Northeast is currently of extremely important significance given the Act East policy of India. An Act East policy means that this entire Northeast also becomes strategically very, very important in movement of goods and people. You have the you know the highway, the road project to Thailand. You have several other projects. You have the Jiribam Imphal rail link, which could later be extended to carry goods into Manipur from the eastern side of the country. And these are important developments that governments have been thinking about. And to have one group agree to come to peace agreement and lay down arms is significant. The other part is that, remember, there are several wings and several extremist groups. Many of them have already entered the peace process. So. <clears throat> if you bring in such significant groups into the peace process, what happens is that within uh, society, when there is, of course, uh, a further uh, movement towards peaceful existence, and that, of course, means also perhaps a lessening of influence of these extremist groups, then people to people and people to government interactions also become easier, delivering messages become easier. And perhaps what many noticed was this ethnic strife in Manipur could also uh, lead to more insurgency. But having come at a time when this ethnic strife is being witnessed in Manipur, this shows that there is a serious effort to at least bring the insurgent groups, whether they are valley-based or hill-based, uh, and uh, whether they belong to this community or that community, the effort is to bring them under, you know, uh, uh, a peace agreement and ensure that the stakes in Manipur for the central government are in terms of development, in terms of peace and not so much, uh, you know, in terms of violence and, uh, you know, fighting. But again, uh, there are also uh, terms. We need to see what terms. The terms are important. There are several other factors. Uh, sometimes, you know, there can be uh, you know, uh, pulling out of agreements, all of that, all of those risks are there. But having said that, with all those risks, uh, such a significant, uh, you know, announcement coming at this point is definitely a welcome development in Manipur.